This video accompanies the discussion of observational studies and sampling strategies in open intro statistics. In particular, we will learn about two types of observational studies and three types of sampling, including the fundamental approach of simple random sampling, the divide and conquer approach of stratified sampling. In an experiment, the researcher controls the assignment of the treatment to each subject. In contrast, data and observational studies are collected only by monitoring what occurs naturally. Consequently, making causal conclusions based on observational data can be treacherous and is not recommended. For example, suppose an observational study tracked sunscreen use and skin cancer, and it was found that the more sunscreen somebody used, the more likely the person was to have skin cancer. This doesn't necessarily mean sunscreen causes skin cancer. In fact, it's more likely that, in this case, the sun exposure is what we'd call a confounding variable, a variable that is correlated with both the explanatory and response variables. Observational studies come in two forms, prospective studies and retrospective studies. A prospective study identifies individuals and collects information as events unfold. On the other hand, Retrospective studies collect data after events have taken place. In either case, selecting a sampling strategy will be an important part of designing the study. The most basic type of sampling is simple random sampling. Consider the salaries of Major League Baseball players, where each player is a member of one of the league's 30 teams, and suppose we wish to create a sample that allows us to estimate the average salary. We could write the names of that season's 828 players onto slips of paper, drop the slips into a bucket, shake the bucket around until we are sure the names are all mixed up, then draw out slips of paper until we have a sample of 120 players. The figure illustrates the idea behind simple random sampling. The blue dots represent the individual baseball players, and the bigger red dots represent those players selected for the sample. Stratified sampling is a divide-and-conquer approach. First, the population is divided into groups called strata, which are chosen so that similar cases are grouped together. In our baseball example, the teams could represent the strata. Then a second sampling method, usually a simple random sampling, is employed within each stratum. We might sample four players from each team for a total of 120 players. The figure illustrates the idea behind a stratified random sample. Notice that we sample randomly from each stratum. In this video, we learned about two types of observational studies and types of sampling. If you learned something you found interesting, share this video with a friend and visit openintro.org for more resources.